Good afternoon, dear visitors. My name is Alexander Vizgalov, and let me please present you the main results of the study on the topic uh, development of a simulator to determine effective personal financial strategies using machine learning. Authors of the article Dmitry Antonyuk, Tatiana Vakalyuk, Vladislav Detkivsky, Alexander Vizgalov. So nowadays, more and more questions and problems related to finances are becoming relevant for everyone. Therefore, it's very important not only to be aware of the latest economic and market developments, but also to be competent in the ability to manage personal finances. Personal finance management includes the ability to manage finances, which requires separate training. The problem of development immersive, realistic, and uh, currently ML-enabled educational simulation in the area of private finance competency is not sufficiently developed and described. This work aims to contribute to this field of theoretical study and practical application, and the purpose of this work is to develop the mechanics of personal finance simulator and build a system for determining effective personal financial strategies using machine learning. So the developer solution will consist uh, of two uh, systems, so one for the simulation process itself and second one for determining effective uh, processes, effective strategies of uh, managing personal finances. And uh, to achieve a goal of creating the simulator of uh, uh, personal, uh, of managing personal finance uh, process, uh, the following tasks uh, have uh, been identified. Uh, the first step to develop a simulator application uh, is to create a home page. Uh, which uh, should be just a welcome screen with uh, uh, the following uh, information which should be provided by user, like uh, uh, country, uh, currency which will be uh, used for the simulation and approximate uh, salary and average monthly expenses. Uh, the second step of uh, uh, development process for simulator application is to develop a simulation page, uh, a main page which uh, should provide possibility to uh, control uh, the process of uh, managing personal finances. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, uh, this page should uh, display the information for the user, which is uh, uh, predefined uh, at the beginning of simulation and selected by user. And uh, there should be a possibility to move through the timeline of simulation, going to the next week, to the next month, for example. Uh, there should be a possibility to stop uh, the simulation anytime and uh, start from scratch. And of course, uh, uh, there is a complete list, but uh, uh, there should be tools, uh, financial tools, uh, of course, for managing savings, deposits, uh, taking a loan, uh, for example, uh, opening new accounts, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, the third step, uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, developing a system of random uh, events. Uh, so uh, they should represent a real life scenario, uh, unpredicted, uh, unexpected uh, events which uh, could happen in our life. But of course, uh, uh, the system should not be overwhelmed with uh, such events like illness, for example, because uh, a user should uh, be focused on uh, taking uh, finance decisions and uh, without uh, overwhelm destruction from perspective on unexpected events. And the fourth step is to develop a page with uh, results of simulation. This page uh, should be shown after 60 weeks of simulation and user should be uh, able to compare personal results with uh, results from others uh, uh, from the same country and different countries also. And uh, of course, all the data should be collected uh, and analyzed afterwards. <coughs> 
So here with the diagram of uh, simulator application components and uh, the decision was to create the web application because uh, uh, it can be accessed uh, from uh, any place all over the world uh, using the centralized resources internet and also it was a decision to create application users using single page approach uh, because uh, application requires a lot of interaction from the user and to uh, first of all reduce the traffic between uh, client and server uh, a single page application fits the best because uh, we only uh, uh, the majority of content uh, is loaded on initial request and after that uh, uh, server sends only the needed and required data to update uh, specific components, specific parts of the application uh, without uh, redundant uh, HTML updates of a whole page like it's done for multi-page applications and of course uh, because of that uh, there is a faster user interaction uh, there are much greater opportunities to develop complex in terms of design functional components and uh, application feels like native desktop uh, or windows for example application and of course server uh, uh, works like a web API uh, which communicates with the client in JSON format. Uh, this uh, approach also is called, uh, called uh, thin server architecture. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this is the way how it's implemented uh, for a simulator application. It's based on ASP.NET Core 3.1 version. For the uh, client part, uh, uh, there is a JavaScript library React used and uh, in a pair of Redux which manages the state of the application. Uh, so and uh, here with the structure of the application itself, the database uh, and the data stored in SQLite uh, source. And to uh, define the uh, effective, to determine effective strategies, uh, in simulator application, uh, there was uh, additional project uh, created uh, for that purpose named Financial Finance Simulator Enforcement Learning, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, using open source library named SharpRel because currently Microsoft ML.NET does not provide a ready made solution to solve problems with reinforcement. And of course, uh, uh, this project has reference to the finance simulator core, which contains all of behavioral logic uh, for the simulation. So the calculation in uh, simulation for the user and in uh, simulation for reinforcement learning uh, are the same uh, are the same environment uh, so and uh, there is a structure of uh, adapted uh, sharp rel solution uh, of course sharp rel provides only abstract interface uh, Im implementations and uh, that's why we needed to create uh, 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 implementations on our own for our own environment with uh, our agents and its users. So, uh, and uh, here is a displayed diagram of uh, uh, general structure of Sharper library. Uh, the simulator application itself hosted uh, on Azure. Uh, and uh, Microsoft Imagine subscription was used for that purpose to deploy the simulator application uh, because Microsoft Corporation offers students and graduate students free access to software uh, designed and development tools. So here with the uh, control panel for the simulator application. And there is a deploy deployment diagram, uh, of course, the web client, which communicates through HTTP request to the web server, uh, which uh, contains uh, the uh, web application itself. 
uh, and also application communicates with external services like like uh, currency rates API to get actual currency rates. And there is an example of a, a home page of simulator application. Uh, there is possibility to select a country, currency, salary and spendings, which uh, could also be entered manually. And there is a button to start a game of simulation. And there is a main page where all of the tools are presented uh, uh, to control the personal finance finances. Uh, there is uh, just a closer look of uh, simulator control panel. Uh, and there is an example of uh, uh, such notifications when uh, a user desires to reset a game, for example. Uh, so to conclude, uh, uh, the developer's flow package uh, consists of uh, two parts. Uh, the first one is a personal finance management simulator, and the second one is a system uh, as a console application, uh, which uh, determines effective financial strategies uh, use, using reinforcement learning opportunities. Uh, currently, uh, this uh, uh, application uh, works using uh, Q-learning uh, approaches uh, implemented in Sharperl uh, library and uh, policy-based methods. In future, it's good to implement, uh, uh, I'm sorry, value-based methods. In future, uh, it's good to implement uh, policy-based methods uh, as it's done for uh, autopilot uh, car programs, for example, because it's uh, hard to predict uh, what's gonna be on the road uh, in one second, for example and uh, policy-based uh, methods uh, uh, better fits uh, situations like this and reacts on uh, changing uh, of the environment structure. Uh, so uh, that's it for, from my side. Uh, thank you so much for your attention.